the sexist and classist history of your prom. A lot of people may not know the history. I, I didn't. Amir sent us the article. It was, Amir's not even here, but it was really interesting, and we wanted to have a discussion on it. We'll include the link to the article because it's rather lengthy. But to start, the word prom comes from promenade, and in this article in Mick.com, it says, quote, a slow walk that usually involves couples displaying themselves one by one. In the 19th century, the word promenade was historically used to describe the parading of wealthy young women in front of potential suitors during debutante balls. Debutante balls obviously reserved for people that could afford them, so it was for like the wealthy and the privileged. Then as uh, the, the, the late 1800s started to reach the, the 20th century, that's when the middle class teens started attending high school because before they were in the working class and the working class teens would have to support their family. So when they attended high school, they would have these like group proms and they were seen as a like a debutante ball for people that couldn't afford the wealthy promenade debutante balls. But it still had that really strict rule where one, they were segregated, which kind of lasted in the deep south till recently, which mm -hmm. is horrific. Did not know that. And um, they were segregated and, and very classist. And um, the, there was like this whole courtship that would happen where the men would have to woo the girls and spend a lot of money. The girls would have to spend money on their dresses. That still kind of happens today. Totally happens. Yeah. Yes. And then it also talked about the fact that the, the girls could not dress, get, dress at all any sort of, of um, masculinity. They had to look as feminine as possible. <laughs> so then it talks about as it progresses to like the 1950s that that still occurred, like the courtship and the spending the money in the dresses, which still happens today. And then it talked about like in the 90s when it came less about like the romanticism of dancing under the stars in your long dress, which some girls do dream about, and more so about losing your virginity. And we yes. saw that. <laughs> <laughs> and we saw... <laughs> We saw that in a number of movies, right? Some of the examples that they gave was She's All That, 10 Things I Hate About You, that perpetuated the narrative that prom night was a time for young women to lose their virginity, while simultaneously featuring teenage boys turning to prom into an opportunity for sexual humiliation. Mm -hmm. And then also from the Mick.com, they talk about dress codes. They say prom dress codes that focus exclusively on girls' attire is linked to that old double standard that girls are responsible for boys' sexual behavior. But for girls, dressing sexy isn't necessarily about sex. It can be about transforming the self. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Mick.com or Mike.com. Mike. Okay, like Mike. A microphone. But My you were apologies. Doing, but Mick.com sounded to me more fun. So I just wanted to keep okay. hearing you say that. Mick.com. Mm -hmm. No, that's In the good. Mick of time. Okay, so like from Mike.com. Yeah. Um, were you guys surprised to hear this, that it came from the word promenade? No, and I that think I've heard that, that before. Yeah. You knew that? It yeah. came from the word yeah. promenade? Yeah. Have you ever seen like any no. of those Jane Austen movies where it's like, sh for the promenade, and you like no. walk yes. around? It is a parade. I know it is a parade. Ball. Yeah, yeah. depth balls are still happening, which is insane to me. More in the South? Yeah, uh, I don't know no. anything about a, no. a depth cities. Depth, really? Big cities. This is so yeah. foreign to me. My best friend Santa was, Cruz, had like, a debutante ball. It was Chicago. a huge deal. I was invited to it. This I is did not attend, crazy to me. Yeah. I first learned about a debutante ball when I went to UCLA, and a girl that I'd known on my swim team told me about her debutante ball. I was like, what is she it's talking about? It's a big deal. It's huge. None of that happens in Santa Cruz. Gloves and everything. Lords what? and ladies, essentially. The royalty of America goes to debutante ball. And how much money do they spend like on a debutante ball? I don't know. My ex-girlfriend was uh, invited to one just to kind of tag along, but she did have to like buy a dress. And how? what, yeah. how, what age do they go to these? 18. It's not she every year? 18. I think my friend was maybe 20. 20, but it's about 18 to 20, I think, when okay. it happened. Maybe she was. Yeah, it's around, but it's like your debut. Your your debut. It's your coming yeah. out. It's your debut debut, and you are paraded around. Mm -hmm. And so then I did weird. not know the part about how like the prom. I guess if you think about it, it makes sense. But the prom was like the more accessible version of it. Oh, the, yeah, right. Then it became because yeah. when when young teens were were starting to get into high school and not committed to the workforce, that right. was the. So but, the experience of this article is. I read the the title of it, which is like it's sexist and classist, and I go, yeah, that makes sense. I didn't know in to the extent to which but over I, hundreds of years it one was. One could assume, and yeah. really prejudice. I mean, think about the fact that still today, same-sex couples are fighting to be able to attend proms yeah. as themselves, as a same-sex, openly same-sex couple, but they can't. For a lot of schools, they're not allowed to, and they can't wear like uh, they have to wear like specific gender-specific yeah, outfits. Weird. Yeah, I didn't. I still I ha I wore two dresses for my junior and senior year of prom, and I knew that I would have been more comfortable had I not done so. I went with two a guy friend both years that we were very much just friends and it was cool and everything but um 
I remember there is still that pressure of like, well, I should probably still wear a dress. But I, but you, but now you hear about more couples are actually kind of fighting to petition that, which I think is really great because yes, you want to go to your prom, or or if you want, if you're a guy and you want to wear a dress, you should be able to totally. And if you want to go to prom with your girlfriend or boyfriend and your Mm -hmm. same-sex couple, you should be able to experience prom. As yourself. Yeah. Okay, as long but, as we can still shame people for with it, whatever, whatever, if they're dressing in a traditionally masculine or feminine way, if they do it wrong, we still get to shame yeah. them, right? As as, like if a guy it's stupid, we in can a, still say in it's a stupid. beautiful dress, I'm not going to make fun of, but a guy who's making some fashion mistakes in a dress, oh, yeah. oh I'm still going to be merciless. Well, well, I think you kind of bring up a good point, Brett, in that I don't really want to hate on prom. I really enjoyed my prom. Was it exactly the best representation of who I was or who I aspired to be? No, it wasn't. But prom was really fun, and it can be a really fun thing still. 100%. As long as we evolve it kind of almost exactly like but I think, marriage. But I think yes. about it. I mean, marriage began as like a super, like, here are the camels. Now I will unchain my daughter and give her to you now. Like, it began, it became as you like. You have access. <laughs> yeah. I have that access to the camels. But we've, but we've made it as we evolve as a society into something that is truly beautiful. And I think that prom is hopefully going through a similar sort of uh, renaissance. Yeah. I hope so, because I do know that some teens do feel very pressured to lose their virginity on prom night. I felt very pressured to lose my virginity on prom night. I did did not. No, I did not. That came much later. But I felt very pressured. I did. And I don't think that's cool. Like, wait, is it it true, like, in the American films, how they show, uh, like, buying a hotel room for your date? (gasps) Yes! Everybody had hotel rooms! And where I went... so sleazy! Everyone had hotel rooms. There were hotel parties. There is that pressure. Oh, there are hotel parties. And it's okay if you choose to do that, but it's, like, to fall under that pressure. Like, I felt the pressure, and I... I, So your For me, it wasn't right, and I'm glad I didn't because I wasn't it wasn't right for me at that time if it is for somebody else fine but it wasn't for me but I did feel the pressure I just want to be really clear and so your yes. date asked you to prom you got your dress and everything mm-hmm. and then you went to prom and then after prom there was a hotel party. I wasn't allowed to have a hotel room but a lot of kids were and their hotel parties and, and you go to the hotel after yes. the prom is over yes. and you just like drink and hang out at the hotel room yes. yeah that's yes. why the drinking age should be younger in the US by the way i had an amazing you after have to hide prom. it. we went to the yeah. club we went to my favorite bar it was awesome you went to the aquarium we had the it's ours was at the long beach aquarium How amazing so that. cool that's yeah. so cool. Under the that's sea. romantic uh, and at the sony atrium which is decidedly less ter- less good um, but we had a thing called the post prom party thrown by my Catholic high school. Yes. So that and we had you had to take buses to prom because they were like, you're not taking limos. You you will leave from here. You will get there. You will get back to here. Smart. Because it was so far, they didn't want people driving at all. That's a great. People were that's drunk. But we just fought it tooth and nail. <gasps> um, but we lost. Yeah. We got proms for homecoming because it was at the school. Yeah, or we got right. limos for homecoming. Okay. But but the school was like, listen, we know what happened. They created outside. boundaries so for you guys. So they created this giant party that went till 5 a.m. We still had fun. And we still had fun. Um, I like that. But actually. it is. It is every bit what you think it is from American movies. It is. Like, and, that's yeah. utterly how it is. And like the, the classes part too. Like I could not, I was really broke in high school and I could not afford a dress and all my girlfriends had like really pretty dresses from like BB and like all those stores and I had to borrow B-E-B-E it's either Bebe or BB whatever okay BB I pronounced it right I had to borrow my mom's friend's dress Oh, and okay. I talked about it before. I had white go. I I paired it with white go-go boots because her dress <gasps> you was. Told me about this before. Was from like the '70s because awesome. it was my mom's friend, and so I went retro, like yeah. not retro. I went yeah, whatever. But it's like you do feel that pressure, and I feel I don't want kids to feel it is a great experience, and I want kids to enjoy the experience, but I also want people to talk about it so they don't so they can feel like oh, that pressure is normal, and I'm not going to fall under that. It is yeah. so strange when you think about it that school, a place to teach you about science and and you know math and literature, I mean, they also have these things set up to teach you about interpersonal relationships, right. dating. So, and they don't. But what they need to do, yes, is set it up in a way that's more representative of like dating. Because for me, it was, dances were like remedial, per, being a person classes the school set up these things to kind of for these social events to you know not just teach you all the stuff that you need to learn in in class but also teach you how to be a person we just i just don't think they've taken any time in the last 70 years to think about exactly what they're teaching i agree rather they're just following a tradition totally agree and i think it could be really beneficial
Yeah, I think it's yeah. fine. Just listen, it's a black tie event. Okay, no matter what it is, here here are the kinds of clothes you wear in black tie events. I don't care if you're wearing the boy version or the girl version, mm -hmm. but there's some kind of, you know, everyone feels equally There's a little bit of decorum. Yeah, just yeah. decorum. Yeah, no right. tennis shoes. Make it your own. Yeah, which is but still talk classic, about it too. but it's less sexist. Yeah. Oh wow, that was another good conversation. No, I you guys, it. please share your thoughts in the comment section below. We'd love to hear your prom stories, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger. Also, make sure you check us out on Watchable.com. <laughs>